Get ready for a weird one. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the fourth episode of the show, Power Rangers in Space, as well as the 254th episode overall titled Shell Shocked. We pick up where we left off with the Ninja Turtles freshly out of the sewers, confused. Don't worry, you're not watching the wrong video. Astronma appears in front of them and she explains who she is, and for some reason, Venus, yeah, that one female Ninja Turtle from the next mutation, knows who she is. What? And Michelangelo tries to hit on her, but Elgar pushes him back. Astronema wants them to kill the Power Rangers, and Raphael explains that the Power Rangers aren't real. Wow, this is world breaking. Astronema says they work for her now, so get over it. So she uses lasers on them, taking them under her control. Why was this episode like a thing? On the mega ship, Andros is showing off his galaxy glider and the Rangers are stoked about them. Then Decca comes over saying that there's a monster attacking the power plant. So the Rangers pose in front of tubes and go down them. Not gonna lie, I kind of like this. They use their galaxy gliders to get to earth, I guess. At the power plant, a monster is draining the thing and the rangers show up in a really cool fashion. The monster, who is apparently named Electro Tramp, comes down, but Andros takes out his spiral saber attacking. So much for teamwork. The others come in with their weapons, but it's no use. Electro Tramp fires on them, knocking them down. He then sends another energy beam and here comes the freaking Ninja Turtles who are protecting the rangers. The rangers are just as shocked that this crossover got approved as I am. The turtles attack Electro Tramp and uh, they're winning. Was this a setup by Astronema for Electro Tramp to take the fall for the Rangers to trust the Turtles? Or does this guy just really suck? Or do the Rangers suck because they couldn't beat him, but the Ninja Turtles could? I mean, the Turtles basically do a Go Ranger hurricane with this, killing Electro Tramp. What the hell? The Rangers thank them and they talk about how they can't believe that the others are real. Michelangelo hits on Ashley already. The Turtles claim they have no idea how they got there and Andros is removed, clearly suspicious of everything. Donatello wants to know if they can take a ride to New York City on the Rangers spaceship, and Andros freaks out, saying it's too much of a coincidence that they showed up when they did. TJ tells Decca to call them up, so they all disappear, despite Andros being very suspicious. On the ship, Carlos and Ashley are giving Donatello, Michelangelo, and Leonardo a tour, and Donatello is asking a lot of questions about what Decca knows and how the place works. I have to say, this makes sense because he's the team techie. Andros is spying on them and he gets called out by Decca, which apparently no one hears because here comes Cassie giving a separate tour to Raphael and Venus. She shows off the engine room and Decca explains that some stuff is classified and then Alpha comes over saying that they're over New York City. Andros then asks why they keep asking so many questions and Cassie explains that not everyone grew up with a spaceship in their garage, so they're just genuinely curious. We then see the POV of someone going through into the main computer control port and Decca sees, notifying Andros who runs away. A pair of pliers cut a few wires in the port and Andros shows up, finding Leo, Donatello, and Michelangelo there, who say that they're giving Decca an attitude adjustment. Then Decca screams, I've been certified certified! <laughs> Never mind, this episode's amazing! Andros then starts beating up these giant turtles running away. The Mega ship then turns around and Alpha says that they're leaving the Earth's orbit and the ship's defenses around are down. Venus and Raphael own up to doing this, and then Astronema just teleports onto the place with Quantrons, and Cassie and Ashley are trying to get away, but Quantrons kidnap Alpha. They can't save him, so they have to fight a bit before running away. Meanwhile, Andros is going up a ladder while the other turtles run past. Then Andros and TJ find Quantrons in the hallway fighting them off. Astronema is stoked to have the mega ship, and she says, Computer, and Decca just gives this soft little, Yo, which is amazing. They're setting course for the Tianta galaxy, and no one commands the ship but Astronema. Dark Spectre asks Astronema what she has to report, and she says that she has the freaking Mega Ship and the Power Rangers, and they're going to kill the Rangers with their own Megazord. Then Leonardo says they actually only have four Rangers, which Astronema shuts him up. Dark Spectre leaves, and Astronema tells Leo to go find Andros, or else she's gonna toss them all into a black hole. The others are tied up in the engine room, and a Quantron is talking smack to them. Didn't know they could talk. Then a pair of pliers are coming over to TJ and he sees Andros is using his telepathy to actually cut the binds, but he somehow drops the pliers on accident. The Quantrons come over and TJ explains that it's a cutting tool, and then they start fighting off the Quantrons. They leave for the tubes. Astronema sees this, sending the turtles after them, but they disappear in the tubes, and the turtles are afraid to follow. The Rangers take the spaceship out, getting away, and Elgar points out that that means no Megazord. Astronema demands that they follow them, so the turtles turn the mega ship around and the rangers are trying to get away. And Astronema says to lock onto them, and Andros points out that there's a polar magnetic field ahead, which will jam the ship's sensors. Astronema sees this and she asks what that is, and Michelangelo says, 
wait a minute, you're asking a turtle who lives in a sewer to explain a cosmic event? Amazing dialogue, genuinely. Decca then says, reverse polarized magnetic field closing in rapidly, dude. <laughs> oh, I love this. Cinema says a veer away, but the ship gets stuck in the field, getting their shit messed up, and the turtles are freaking out. And now their spell is magically gone. Yeah, that's how we're resolving this. The turtles wake up feeling weird and Astronema is super confused. She demands that the turtles do stuff, but they don't work for her anymore. Astronema then tells Decca to self-destruct and she disappears just as Donatello and Michelangelo try to get her. They then think it's great they have their own spaceship, but then Decca starts to count down to self-destruction and they're all freaking out. Astronema then shows up in front of the Rangers who are apparently on a planet now. They start fighting off some Quantrons. On the ship, Decca is still counting down and they're trying to reconnect Decca. and Donatello cannot remember for the life of him whether it was the blue or green wire. Venus does her spiritual thing and it's the green wire and when Donatello reconnects it, the self-destruction sequence is aborted for some reason. Astronema then uses a blade boomerang thing that I'm pretty sure we'll never see again on the Rangers and she hits Andros down, who actually tries to get his spiral saber back. But Leo is there to help and now it's the Power Rangers and the Ninja Turtles versus the Quantrons. Yeah, this is really weird. Michelangelo is with Cassie, which makes sense personality wise. Donatello and TJ are together because there's no tech guy this time around. Then Ashley is with Raphael. Can't think of a connection there. Carlos is with Venus, which is nice to see her not just be paired with Ashley because boobs. Leonardo is with Andros because they're both leaders, I guess. They pile up the Quantrons and Astronema decides this episode has been embarrassing enough, so she leaves. The Rangers explain that they're not on Astronema's side and Michelangelo kisses Cassie's hand. Then there's this weird bit where Leo holds out his hand to shake Andros's and it's suspended for a bit before Andros shakes his hand. Whatever. The Rangers offer to give the Turtles a ride home and they're all aboard the mega ship. They're back by Earth and the Rangers are saying goodbye and Leo says it was a good excuse to get out of the sewer. And if they're in space, they'll stop by. And Donatello makes sure that there's no hard feelings whatsoever with Decca. And she says no, but then she zaps his butt. Michelangelo has something he wants to do before they go though. And of course, they're on the galaxy gliders freaking out. What if they lost a galaxy glider or something? The end. Yeah, so this episode's uh, it's freaking weird. I mean, okay, so at this time, the Ninja Turtles actually had a show on Fox Kids alongside Power Rangers, but even then it's a weird cross promotion. It's also funny because history is not kind to this crossover because over 20 years after this episode aired, Power Rangers is still on. That particular Ninja Turtles series lasted 26 episodes, two of which were actually clip shows. Seriously, two clip shows in 26 episodes. If you just take the episode at face value, it's fun and there's some genuinely funny moments, especially when Decca is reprogrammed. Other than that, Melody Perkins is like really struggling through this episode to do a good job as Astronema and that's no slight to her. This is hard stuff to try to take seriously and act super well when it's so damn weird, but overall it's actually pretty inoffensive. Next time we start what I would consider the main storyline of the season. But until then, may the power protect you.